Hi, Gemini. I'm here to do your angel reading, okay? So first of all, let's take an area of major influence for this time frame, okay? One that's going to be kind of an overarching type of energy for you. The Hermit. Time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. And potentially self-discovery. Okay. Now, these are minor compared to the Hermit, but these are important as well. Let's find out how your communication, fairness, practicality, those sort of matters are what is most important during this time, or most prevalent. Okay. You have the two of air. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem, maybe. Or overanalyzing the situation. Okay, it mentions in here following your own heart, which relates back to the hermit, I think. The hermit goes within to find spiritual... Um, you could say enlightenment, but where they fit in, where they want to go, where they want to be. So I can see how this would really apply to that. Okay, now let's see how your strength, how self-assured, lively, fun, that kind of energy is for you during this time. Protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Potentially environmental activism and animal rights. The Nine of Fire. Hmm. Okay. This looks to be a potentially rather intense time. But let's get some more and find out. Now we're on to Earth. Practical, grounded, cautious, accountability, those kind of energies. You have the page of earth. Scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous. Time to get to work. <laughs> An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career promotions or scholarships. Potentially a new area of study. Okay. Now let's go on to water or cups. Let's find out about your emotions, potentially psychic abilities, your nurturing, sensitive side. Let's see what's important here. Children or childhood. Revisiting old dreams or plans. Embracing your inner child. The return of people or romances from your past. Romanticizing how things used to be. Hmm. Okay. So let's take some more cards and then we'll talk about this a little bit. Okay, let's see what the wisdom of the oracle would like to add. Higher power, which is a beautiful card. And now, take one for the spirit animal oracle.
coyote spirit. Trust in divine detours. All right. And one more. These are chakra cards. Let's see if there is one particular chakra that's either in the forefront or that you need to work on or that there's emphasis on, that sort of thing. Your crown chakra. All right. Now, Please remember, only take with you what resonates, and what does not resonate, just leave behind, okay? And don't forget to check your sun, moon, and rising signs for a more complete picture. Okay, so, trust in divine detours. That means to me that something might be going, obviously, the way you had planned, or that you were steering yourself towards, there might be a detour of some sort. And it says trust in it. Okay, so if something comes up during this time, remember this and, you know, if you need to find out more. Um, because it might end up being something really wonderful for you. Okay, and let me read just the essential meaning of the higher power card. Okay. The very short, short, short version. Conscious contact with a higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. And that actually fits beautifully because the hermit is doing that very thing. Time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. And self-discovery. Maybe that's got something to do with the divine detours. Sure looks like it could. Okay, now, on to the um, air swords which is all about communication and fairness and being practical. Okay, it says them being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem or overanalyzing a situation. Okay, I'm trying to think. It looks like this really does relate to these three. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Is that because you're trying to take others into account? But it's not what your heart wants? Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, you need to try to look within, like the hermit here is saying, and find what is right for you and include that in your decision making. Protect what you've created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. To me, it all is fitting in very well. This one might maybe be the oddball, <laughs> but that's okay. That's good. It's a good oddball if it is. Uh, Time to get to work. Maybe it's not. Maybe it fits right in. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. A new area of study. Yeah, maybe it does fit in. Because here it's talking about, you know, going within a spiritual enlightenment of sorts. Finding where it is that you want to go. either physically or I would say it's more internal. But yeah, fits right in. Okay, and here, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child. Okay, maybe there is something that you really wanted to do for a long time and did not do it. 
for whatever reason, maybe practical reasons, thinking of your family, you know, who knows? Well, you would know. I don't know because it's a general reading. But maybe something from a long time ago that you wanted to do, you did not do, but now you are considering it. And it might be a great time to revisit that. Okay, I will read to you about the crown chakra. And the key words for that are, I know. The crown chakra is located at the top of the head and has been called the thousand petaled lotus or the receiver of light. This chakra is the center of your link with the universe the infinite in your higher consciousness. It's the connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. Okay, yes, yeah, so even this fits in totally. Higher power and the hermit. It, this all is meshing together in a beautiful way. It's the connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. The crown center is the area where the ethereal light and the energy are received and then disperse throughout your aura for total well-being. To balance this chakra, I find that meditation, breath work, yoga, spiritual healing, acupuncture, and color therapy work best. When properly aligned, your crown chakra will expand to a point where it is possible to access and tap into the deepest sources of wisdom. Okay, so yeah, it, to me, it looks like this all fits in very well, almost reads like a story. And this divine detour could have a lot to do with this, potentially a new area of study. Okay, so let's take one more quick look at this. Unable or unwilling to make a decision because you're not following your heart, you're probably following what you think you need to do. Yeah. Um, Follow your heart instead of trying to make other people happy. Okay, so I think overall what I'm getting from this is there's something that you wanted to do for a long time but did not for practical reasons or some other reason. And now it's the time for you to revisit that and see if maybe you should include that in your life somehow. I think that's what's going on here. I think that's the angel message, the overall angel message. Okay? We will take a couple of cards to see if we gain any more insight. Okay? Let's see what we get. Angel spirit guides, please show Gemini what they need to know concerning these cards. Hmm, get a couple more. One more. And we had one that fell out, so I have to go get that. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Okay. What this is looking like to me, you're looking at three cups that have spilled. You're not looking at the two cups behind you, which keeps you from seeing the bridge and the castle, and that castle is your happiness, contentment, joy, that sort of thing. Okay? And if you interpret this using these cards, what this would say to me is, this is what you've been doing, and who knows? You would know. I do not. But it looks like you have spent 
like I said, using these to in help interpret this, a fair amount of time, maybe it's your career or how you behave, you know, your external self um, in a way that you feel is best. But you've been not doing what it is that's in your heart. And so to me, it's saying, turn around, look at these, they are here for you. This is what you want. And put this into play in your life and it will bring you to your happiness. And here is the will of fortune, which is a positive new beginning. So if you do turn around and then, you know, look at these and include some aspect of this in your life now, it's going to create a beautiful new beginning. And here, the Nine of Pentacles, what that is, is very happy, content, abundant self. So by actually doing what it is or including what it is that you love that's in your heart, you are going to find a lot of happiness and abundance. Wow, this this thing just makes this beautiful story. Okay. Let's see if or what the Divine Doors would like to add as a closing comment. I love these little cards. Oh my goodness, even this one fell out. <laughs> Healing Heart. Perfect. Okay. Morning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness, a new day starts. Let light embrace the healing heart. Well, to me, and I didn't think of this until this card came out, but it would make sense that um, if there was something that you really wanted to do for some time now and you didn't do it, it did hurt your heart. So, if you go by this, it looks like you are going to include this in your life. I'm not, I'm not saying you're going to replace your entire life with this. Maybe you will. Who knows? But, by including this part of you that you've really wanted to do, you will heal. And, have a great beginning. You'll stop being able, or not being able, you'll stop grieving, not doing this. And this is going to create a ton of satisfaction for you. It's a beautiful reading. Okay, let's get a turn. What do we have here? We have a cherub. Oops, sorry cherub. It looks like they are playing an instrument. I don't know if it's a lute or what exactly. But I would say that that is, you know, cherubs are um, babies. So that to me, that looks like it might be a very happy birthing of this thing that you've been wanting to do for quite some time. Beautiful reading. I hope this helps. Love and light. Bye.